Daniel, I know this is not the outcome uh, you wanted. What a close match went down all the way to Armageddon. Uh, tell us about your, your feelings after this first match. Well, the feelings are uh, clearly tough because this is not the best way to lose. Yeah, you, you prefer losing like 2-0 uh, and so on. Also, I mean, chess-wise, to be honest, I was lucky to win the, the first game. I think I was dead lost and then I lost the second one chess-wise. I think it was normal. He simply played better. So, I mean, losing because of chess would be okay. Losing with this, uh, you know, both players down to uh, two seconds in Armageddon is not exactly uh, the best way to lose, but more or less, I think it's well deserved. Like, throughout the match, he played uh, better. Also, in the last game, I'm pretty sure, like, after Bishop take, uh, takes the two, like, white, is, white is massively better. But then again, you have to play moves. It's not lost. I mean, it's just worse. I mean, we played. Let me ask you the same uh, question as uh, I asked Vladimir, you guys, you know, we saw you chatting in between the games, you know each other well. How do you feel about playing as someone who you know as well? Well, but I know well uh, most of the chess players. If we're talking Vladimir, is it exactly, and if I'm looking for, uh, you know, good news, because basically when you lose, there's no good news. But if, if I would be looking for good news, I'd probably say that... Uh, you cannot play him very often, yeah. I mean, he told everybody that he that he retired, and he only plays once, once or twice a year. And if he plays twice and once, it's a, a chess where you cannot castle, you know. And here I could play him, and I'm allowed to castle. I mean, uh, life couldn't be better, yeah. So yeah, these terms, it's okay. Let's talk about uh, the tournament Berlin. You played here last year in the Grand Prix. How does it feel to be back here? Well, it feels nice. Uh, the venue is nice. Also, I think the as a location in general is nice, we are living in this uh, historical district, you know, and you can go visit all the all the sightseeing places. And uh, yeah, this terms it's nice. Also, I must say, uh, when you play a chess tournament, normally you don't have a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. And as Vladimir uh, I told you before, now we are playing two or three uh, tournaments at the same time. So uh, it's not that I um, have a lot of time for you know like theaters, museums, or uh, some other stuff. This is not exactly the case. How does it feel? I mean, you're also planning to play again tonight. Is it not too much? Yeah, maybe. Well, my preference is, uh, I mean, at least I'll watch him play. Yeah, maybe I'll just give him, uh, give him the laptop and then I'll just chill and watch this. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it is also decent. Um, let's talk about uh, something else entirely. You are going to be the official commentator for the match between Ding and uh, Janne Pomneshi that starts very soon. Yeah. Um, what is your prediction? I think maybe you have to stay more neutral than the other players here, but uh, your thoughts on the match? Yeah, first of all, I have to. Secondly, I honestly don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. My, my prediction is, is that basically, I've, I mean, if you let Magnus sleep for, uh, for like a day, he will uh, beat both rather easily. But between these two, I honestly don't know. I would say Ding's A game is, uh, is probably better than Jan's. But if they are both not uh, not at their best, I would say Jan has much better chances. Like his low is not that low. So yeah, we'll see. And to end on something uh, completely random, you've spent quite a bit of time in Berlin. Do you have any uh, restaurant recommendations or what is your favorite type of cuisine? Well, but once again, we, we're normally down to, to the places that are like within this three, uh, three minutes walk from the hotel. I mean, if, if I need to choose between them, then I would say uh, there, is a, there is this nice Italian place called Sagrantino, I guess, next to the Westin, and I liked it a lot last time, and this time it's not uh, disappointing for the moment as well. So yeah, go there, people. You heard it here. And finally, <laughs> well, Vladimir off camera is saying he is going for room service. That's his preferred choice. And if you had to give yourself a rating as a cook, what would that rating be? I would be unrated, you know. No, I, I mean I could only I could only compete by cheating. Then I guess I mean if if someone else does it, no, no, I'm just hopeless. In these terms. <laughs> well, uh, I'm good at uh, ordering, you know. Yes, that's, that's an important skill. Yes, I'm very good, uh, you know, customer maybe, but uh, yeah. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Best of luck tonight and also for the next match. Thank you.